Welcome to the Lithocrush V distally wire guided version in service. This is an educational program designed to assist in the proper use of the Lithocrush V distally wire guided. It is not designed to replace the information in the instructions for use that accompanied the device when it was purchased. This presentation is a supplement to the information contained in the Instructions for Use, or IFU. All the material in the IFU should be reviewed prior to operating the device. Let's review the assembly of the Lithocrush V mechanical lithotriptor. There are two different versions of the Lithocrush V. One is the rotatable bullet tip version. The other is the distally wire guided version. Today, we will review the distally wire guided version. Be certain of which version you have by looking on the box, which will indicate either bullet tip or distally wire guided tip. On the distally wire guided version, there is an indicator for the distal wire guided basket feature, a mark signifying the basket is compatible with a 0.035 inch guide wire, and a 30 millimeter basket opening size. The distally wire guided version of Lithocrush V has a wire guided tip and you will also notice the sheath is black. The bullet tip version has a clear plastic sheath. There are also differences between the distally wire guided and bullet tip versions at the proximal end of the basket. The bullet tip version has the locking knob used to retract the plastic sheath. The distally wire guided version does not have a locking knob because it does not have a plastic sheath. However, both baskets assemble to the autoclavable handle in the same way. Let's review the handle preparation. The unlock release button needs to be fully turned counterclockwise as shown. If it is turned too far, the button will be in the locked position. Once the knob is fully unlocked, Push the ratchet switch into the off position. The handle is now ready for assembly to the Lithocrush V basket. First, remove the black protective sleeve from the tip of the basket. Second, withdraw the stem at the proximal end until the basket is fully retracted. When the stem is fully withdrawn, a black mark will be visible on the stem. This indicates the basket is ready to be assembled to the handle. Next, we will assemble the basket to the handle. First, insert the stem into the handle until you feel or hear a click. Lock the stem in place by fully turning the knob on the release button clockwise. Next, we need to align the yellow arrow on the end of the basket to the yellow marks on the handle. Push the basket end into the handle until you feel or hear a click. Flush the injection port prior to passing the basket into the scope. Backload the distally wire guided basket tip onto a 0.035 inch or smaller guide wire. Pass the basket down the scope along the guide wire into the patient's duct. The distally wire guided tip enables the basket to cannulate the duct by following the guide wire. Once in the duct, to allow for full basket rotation, separate the guide wire from the basket tip by performing an intraductal exchange. This is accomplished by slowly withdrawing the guide wire while advancing the basket until the guide wire and basket are separated inside the duct. Now the basket can be fully rotated without being caught in the wire, and the wire can maintain ductal access during the entire procedure. After completing the introductal exchange, open the basket by advancing the rod on the handle forward until the basket is fully deployed. Rotating the basket may help to acquire the stone. The basket is rotated by turning the rod on the back of the handle in either the clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Once you start rotating the basket, you cannot change direction. Once the stone is captured in the basket, you may begin crushing. Push the ratchet switch into the on position. 
slowly turn the handle to close the basket around the stone and eventually crush the stone. It is important to turn no faster than you see here or the stone can slip out of the basket. Lithocrush V can be used to crush multiple stones. However, you will need to crush each stone one at a time. Turn the ratchet off and check that the basket can reopen smoothly. Apply gentle pressure to the back of the handle to reopen the basket. Smoothly open and close the basket before crushing additional stones. If the basket does not smoothly open and close, then remove it from the patient and use a new basket to ensure no trauma is done to the duct. When removing the basket from the patient, ensure the basket is fully closed. Also turn the ratchet off to relieve tension in the sheath. Then remove the basket from the patient. Now that we are done crushing the stone, we need to disassemble the handle and basket. First, loosen the release button by turning it counterclockwise. Then push the release button and yellow button simultaneously while pulling the handle away from the basket. After the procedure, dispose of the basket. The handle is reusable and needs to be cleaned and autoclaved.